Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over day 14 of the November Liko Daily Challenge. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you, how, you know, how you've been doing in November so far. Two weeks in, almost halfway there. And let's get started. Today's problem is iterator for combination. Okay. So, iterators, mm, what are we doing? Okay, so we have sorted distinct lowercase letters. Okay. Um, the next combination, okay. So there are a couple of things you can do here. I think if you want to cheat, and I think I've done this in the past, you just generate all combinations prior and then just, you know, and then just go. And of course, there's in Python specifically, there's a library function for this. Um, combination, which one is combination again? Oh, combination length, okay. So, mm, How do we want to think about this, right? The idea is that we have a length and then we just basically keep track of counters and then we keep going as much as we can. I think that should be okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's the idea, right? And then has next and next, we just go to the next one. Um, and we can kind of break it down one by one. Uh, how, what are the constraints? Constraints are 15, so we should be okay. Uh, and only 10 to the fourth at most. Um, but yeah, but basically you would do something like, you know, the way that you would think about it if you had to do it manually, or well, not manually, but just like in general, is you have the idea of, okay, you have maybe indexes. Oops is you go to something of length, combination length. And then, and then you start at, you know, zero, one, two, and then you increment the two to three and so forth, and then up all the way up to the last one. And then you increment the next one. It's a combination. So, so all the um, numbers are the same, but, but yeah, but then in here we will go, mm, yeah, so let's just say self.chars is equal to characters and is equal to length of self.chars. So then here we start with, and this is already sorted, so we, we only want um, mm, x for x in range of combination length. And then a list of this, right? So what this is saying is that it's going to have uh, for example, it's going to start with 0, 1, 2, and then it goes to, and ideally we do something like this where we go to 0, 1, 3, we go to 0, 1, 4, dot, 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 all the way, right? Um, yeah. And there are just a lot of bookkeeping. I mean, so the way that I would normally generate all combination, honestly, is by recursively, but here maybe is a fun exercise for me to kind of figure out um, how to do it not recursively, iteratively, which I haven't done in a while. I mean, it's not it shouldn't be that bad, but but yeah. Keeping in mind that in this case for combinations, um, for every i j k, i is less than j less than k, right? So I think that will make it okay. So then we basically increment the last number that we can. And then once that goes over, we increment the number before that. Um, and and then, yeah. And then we start that one with I minus one, something like that. Um, let's play around with that. I think it's a big potential to get off by one, but that's basically the way that I would do it. Um, and then this goes to at some point two, three. Um, th after this is O of zero, one, um, N maybe, or N minus one maybe. Um, and then this goes to zero to four and then increment all the way through. Um, we just have to make sure that, yeah, that we have enough numbers and I guess that's it. Okay, let's play around with that and let's get started. Um, let's see, has next. We always have has next unless um, the first index is already like, you know, basically you have essentially uh, the last number is going to be n minus 1. The second to last number is going to be n minus 2. 
dot 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 all the way to n minus i for some i that is uh, the length of the thing, right? Um, so basically, return solve dot indices the first element if that is equal to um, if that is equal to n minus one uh, uh, n uh, solve dot n minus length of self dot index c something like this i may be off by one here let me think about it for a second um because basically if that's not the case we can always increment somewhere right uh yeah yeah okay i think we're okay here maybe hmm. we'll see if that's true uh at least for now let's see if if indexes have zero element, then this should start with zero minus one. So I think we're off by one. Okay, that's a easy check um, to see if if indexes has one element, what happens, right? If indexes has one element, then this element should be n by minus one. Actually, no, I think that was right. Whoops. Uh, okay. So so then now we do the next one, which means that we look at the last element, and then we increment, right? So index is equal to uh, the last element, right? Mm, let's just say index is equal. This is more Pythonic. I don't really know that I'm a fan of this, but uh, so yes, yeah, self dot indexes of index we increment by one. If and we may ch we we we're, we're going to change this to while loops in a second, but let, I'm just working this through. If this is equal to self dot n in the last one, it's going to be minus one. So this is plus index, which is actually very really awkward to say. But um, if this is the truth. Then we, in, um, in this case, we actually go more to the left. So we subtract one. Um, and we also, in this case, we set. Hmm. Oh, man. My neighbors are singing very loudly. But um, okay, let, let, how do we think about this, right? Then we think. We think, okay, let's increment the number to the left. Um, and then get this number later. What is this number? What is the current number, right? Well, um, we can maybe just do a helper function instead. Uh, let, let's actually do it that way. Maybe I will do a recursive. I mean, it's recursive, but it's more stack-based. You can think about it as a stack versus uh, the iterative version, but yeah. Um, so let's just say increment um, the last element. So let's actually, yeah. So increment negative one for the last element. Uh, do we want to do it this way? Let's see. And eh, let's just do n by one. Uh, oops. Sub dot n minus one. Um, and of course we will define increment here. So now we have this thing, but of course this math is a little bit different now. Um, we have if this is the worst, then we have to get the last. Um, if this is the n, or the, if this is not the n, we let's see. Uh, what does the n mean? Um, if the index is equal to itself, okay. So, uh, is the go to sub dot n minus length of sub, something like this, but maybe off by one again. But yeah, if this is the biggest number, oh sorry, this is this minus index, right? Because if index is no no no, because this is um, eh, this going backwards thing is kind of mixing me up a little bit to be honest. Uh, maybe I need more sleep, but that's besides the point. Okay, so we only fix this index. So then this is going to give us one. Uh, mm, okay, so I think this is the case actually, right? Because under if no, 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 this is only the case. So I think one thing I'm mixing a little bit is uh, this, the length of this and n. I think that's why. So we want it to be the same okay so sub the n's minus of the index that's the places from the n if this is equal to um so we add that by 
So this is this minus the length of self dot indexes, right? So that means that if we're at the last element, this will be negative one, and this would also be the length of the last index. Okay, uh, I just had to say it out loud. So if this is the case, we want to get the index, uh, or we want to get the value from in incrementing the minus one. Um, basically, we want to look at the previous value and then solve that indexes of index is equal to well plus one, right? Um, and I think we, we're good here, maybe. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I think we may be good here. Uh, we have to add a base case, of course. So if index is equal to zero, then uh, or if mm -hmm. okay, so let's say we're parsing the zero of f limit. Well, this cannot be the case unless we don't have a has next. So we should be okay. Um, so okay, so I. Because this cannot be the case if it does not have a has next. So otherwise, we just... Oh, I guess this is it, because we already did the incrementing here. Um, and then now now that we have all the indexes, we want to um, return the element. Of course, I think one thing that I might be a little bit off is, the, is that... Okay, so this increments it afterwards, but we actually want the value of it now. Um, we might, as a result, have this recursion thing, though, where, um, hmm, we'll see. Yeah. If index is equal to negative one, then that we have no more values, so we can just return, maybe? Mm, return negative one, say. Oh, no, that's, that's going to be bad, so. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, maybe I just write something like if self dot has next, we increment. Um, so then we could get rid of this. Okay. Uh, otherwise, the value is equal to um, self dot chars. So we want to join the array that is made by uh, um, in self dot indexes, something like this. And then, of course, we return value at the end. Okay, let's give it a spin. I'm not confident about it yet. A lot of potential typos, but that's okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, because I do self dot n minus one instead of um. What we want is actually length of. Uh, I've been mixing the two, two numbers a bit, the n and the indexes, and that's why I've been confusing for me. But uh, but yeah. Mm, okay, let's see why that is. So, okay, so the zero one, zero two, zero three. So I, I guess I, this is not triggering correctly somewhere um, because we have three, so this goes to zero three somehow. Hmm. But we are incrementing the last number correctly, so this is just not going. Um, so, okay. Maybe I'm off by one. Let's see. If index is if index is the last element, then this would be negative one and this would be two. Hmm. Let's just see if we go here. I'm not sure that we do, but so that means that if we don't go here, that means that this if statement is off. Um and it is. So I think one thing that I I I think I did this math based off um, based off not incrementing. So I guess I have to do this first. Um, there you go. Uh, okay, still wrong. Hmm. That's awkward. Hmm. So the length of this, so this would go to the second index, which is or one in this case. So this is one, one minus. Um, oh, I think this is well. I, I like I said, I keep mixing the ends. So this is. I 
I think I mixed this up. Yeah. I think this should be sub dot n minus the length of yeah, okay. Uh, keep, keep on mixing these two. I, I've been really bad about it. Um but yeah. Okay, so we're good here. Um we just have to return this value, which we never did actually. So that's why this is awkward. Um Yeah, okay. So this, um, that's not accurate. No, actually it is, right? Zero one, zero two, one two, right? So why are we wrong here? Hmm. We're wrong because, okay, so I think what we're doing in incrementation is correct, but I think our has next is, is off by, or I don't know. I mean, it clearly that we are uh, off by something in somewhere. So, um, has next is true, right? Maybe I'm off on here as well. Hmm. Do I have a print name in the other place? No. Hmm. So next. Why is this printing so many times? Oh, because I call has next here as well. Um, okay, that's fair. Hmm. Ugh. Am I just off by one? This really should be returning true. If this is one, um if if the first element is one and we want this to be we want this to be uh, uh yeah we want this to be one and n minus this one it should be okay so if this is not one then we have the next Am I messing, mixing something up here? Hmm. So, okay, so this is returning force accurately, but why am I returning force on AC or after AC, right? Oh, because after AC, we increment it. Um, the, so we're lagging one behind because we increment it, and then now that we increment it, the has next is whether we can do it again. Okay, so maybe I have to think about it in in a different way. Um, so where so has next is equal to uh, okay. So this should give us the delay effect, uh, maybe, hmm, maybe not. Uh, so this returns, oh, because this is a, a chicken and egg thing. I, I have to adjust this here. Um, uh, this is very awkward now, to be honest, but um, it looks a little bit better. Uh, let's see if we can do this, but but for three, eh. this is a very awkward interface, so I might not test that much because I don't know. This is just awkward to to write. So I've added five things. If this isn't, if I have mix up something, I'm not going to do it. Okay, method should be a string array. Oh, whoops. Okay, so that looks good. Um, so let's give it a submit. Hopefully this is okay. Um, yep, cool. 
Uh, I think the last few times I did just brute force, to be honest, and just did it very quickly. This time I kind of re-proved it from first principles. Um, I don't have this memorized because if I did, this would not take so long. But also, you know, it's just about thinking of through what, how to represent this and then implementing it, which I was a little bit slow about. Maybe this is a good warm-up for the contest soon. Uh, I need to go grab food, but yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, so this is going to be, you know, this is going to... Uh, this is roughly speaking n times x, uh, where x is the number of output. Um, note that, th I mean, th there are some amortizations you can do in math with knowing with respect to combination, combinatorial math and combinations. But that said, I'm just lazy right now. So we call this n times, uh, we call this x times, and each time it's going to take O of L um, operations where where that is the, the number of length. Um, and here, this is all one, but... And yeah, and we, and we use uh, linear space, of course. Um, but yeah, but that's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, let me know how you did and all that other stuff. Um, cool. Yeah. I, I, I will see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, and take care. Bye-bye.